All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. Today, we're back for another Bike Quick Talks, and today, we're not talking about any bikes in particular. We are talking about how to best carry your child while you're riding your bike. I don't mean hold your kid. I'm talking about either a rack, trailer, up on the handlebars, a couple different kind of mounts. That's what we're talking about today. But before we get into this bike quick talk, make sure you head down below. If that subscribe button is red, that means you're not subscribed and you're missing out on all of my videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell icon next to that. That way you get notified every time I upload so you're not missing any great uploads. So carrying your kid on a bike. We've all had a kid in our lives. I got a little, I got a daughter who's almost two. You gotta have some way to bring them with you while you're riding. You like to ride, guess what? They got, they're not old enough to ride a bike or they're not strong enough to go as far as you wanna go. So how do you carry your, how do you carry your kid? There's gonna be three different ways I'm gonna be talking about today. First way is going to be a trailer and that's what I use myself. I have a pretty basic trailer. You can pick them up at your local Walmart, Target. Bike shops have them. There's some really nice brands out there. Burley makes a really great one. I've done a review on one of our trailers before. Their stuff is really nice quality if you really want something nice. Otherwise, you can head to your local Walmart, pick up your trailer, you can find them on Marketplace or Craigslist if you want. So the reason I use a trailer is really it keeps them off of your bike. So your bike's handling, weight, everything stays pretty much exactly the same as it was. So you, you're not out of comfort, your comfort zone while riding your bike. It also puts them separate from your bike so say you happen to lay down your bike while you're going around the corner. Well, guess what? Your kid in the trailer that has two wheels, they're gonna be still standing up, no issues at all, and nothing's gonna be wrong with them. It's also nice because you have storage space too. Kids wanna bring a couple toys with them or their snacks or their water, they can carry it in the trailer. Now, is it a little heavy? Sure, you get a little bit of extra weight from a trailer, you're gonna get extra weight you're carrying a kid around. I mean, depending how big your kid is, you're gonna get extra weight from carrying your kid around. So that's gonna be one downfall. Other downfall is it does have two wheels or most of them are gonna have two wheels. Therefore, the track on the trailer is gonna be different than your track on your bicycle. So similar to driving your car with, similar to driving your car with a trailer, you do have to make a little bit wider turns. You do have to realize the trailer is wider than you, generally about the width of your handlebars if you're riding like a mountain bike much narrower than the road bike, but about the width of your, like a mountain bike handlebar, so around like 700 millimeters or so. That is the other kind of downfall to a trailer is that track width on there. Next thing we're gonna talk about is going to be a rack style child carrier. That's gonna mount on the rear of your bike. Now, what do I mean by a rack style? Well, pretty much you have, I think everybody's seen them. They've been around for forever. Pretty much they're gonna mount right over here, right above the rear tire of the bike. And then they have a big seat that's gonna be here to hold the to hold your kid in place. So this style of rack, what makes it nice? Well, your kid is gonna be on the rear of the bicycle, so your weight's still gonna be kind of farther back, which is where you're gonna want your brake, want your weight if you're braking or having to do anything, you're gonna kinda of want it farther back. You know that if you're a mountain biker, when you're going downhill or you're trying to brake, you push your weight forward farther to the back. Also with those, especially the more modern style of those, they actually have a removable seat on them. So when the seat's not there, there's actually a nice rack on the rear, nice rear rack for you to strap luggage, you know, strap whatever you want to the rack. It's kind of nice, kind of nice thing to do. So downfall of this, still it's on your actual bike here. So of course your bike's handling is gonna handle a little bit differently because that, depending how big your kid is again, got extra weight back here. So that's gonna make a difference to how your bike handles. And of course, if you crash, guess who else crashes? That's right, your kid crashes too because he's they're stuck in the bike. Now most of them, they are similar to like a car seat. So I mean, they do come around the sides a little bit to protect them if they were to fall, but you still have to worry about that. So extra weight and you could potentially, if you crash, the kid crashes. That's gonna, be the, that's gonna be the second one I'm gonna talk about. The last one we're gonna talk about is kind of a newer style. I believe they call it a like a co-pilot rack, I think is what they call it. And it actually mounts up here on your top tube, between your top tube and the your head tube here. And that actually goes right here and pretty much mounts your kid up in front of you. I, I don't know if anybody else sees a problem with that. I've seen a problem with it. Your kid's in front of you. Your weight's now over the front of your bike. So if you were to stop or try and steer, you have extra weight on the steering part of your bike. So you might not be able to steer as well. That's kind of the downfall of that 
is you have weight on the front of your bike, you don't really want extra weight on the front of your bike, especially up here where you're trying to steer. Nice thing about it, and I guess you, you have sight of your kid all the time, so instead of a rack behind you or even a trailer, you know, farther away, you have view of your kid while you're riding. So it's kind of nice. You have that nice sight of your kid. You can make sure they're nice and comfortable. Or they're enjoying it. They're also right up in the front, so they see exactly what's going on in front of you. Again, same downfall as the rear rack. If, they, if you crash, the kid crashes too. Surprise! So those are, those are kind of the three main types of racks I wanted to talk about. If you guys have any comments about any, three, any of these three or any comments about other ones I may have missed, let me know down in the comments section below. Glad to hear from you guys. Love hearing from, from each of you about what your guys' opinions are. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.